All right, so welcome everyone. We're here with Lauren and she is going to share with us a little bit about her experience of doing the creative coaching certification. She actually started in our DIY, meaning her do it yourself. And so she took it on and has just um, had amazing results and not so much just results, but inner transformations that ha are blowing me away. And so I'm just going to hand it off to you, Lauren, and anything you want to share about your experience and what brought you here and anything else about what you do and your work and how it's kind of, you know, really fit in with your specific genius. Um, well, Raquel, first of all, I'm so excited to have this time with you and and to connect with people about doing this work with you. You're such an awesome teacher and I really love how you encourage us to really be ourselves and be our genius and the way that you work with human design really resonated with me personally is I wasn't too sure about this modality. I, I thought um, initially that it was kind of cold that like that's how I, I felt. I don't know if that makes sense to you or anyone who's listening, but I felt like it was maybe kind of cold and it also had gone against different values that I held as true. So I had a lot of conditioning as as they say in human design that was happening around how to implement and how to build a business and i've had my own coaching business since 2012 and it's been growing steadily and i have amazing tools and i love working with my clients and this year in 2020 i found myself the most stuck that that I'd ever felt in my business. And it was kind of like, there's nowhere to go, which was so weird. And I put it out there, I'm surrendered. And a friend of mine who's in your group, I think I may have even added her to your group when she said she was interested in human design. And I said, well, this teacher seems like really cool. So I'll add you. Um, she gently reminded me of the resource and I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a shot. And bringing that into Love Renegades, my business, first it was just for me. So I was like, I'm going to give this a chance. And just, okay, I'm going to wait because the waiting, like I'm a generator. It, so it's not even that bad. <laughs> For me, I'm not a projector, but having to wait was really tough. But at that point, it was like I'd tried everything and there was nowhere to go. So the next action was to wait. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. And in, and in the waiting things were starting to click and I would sign up for different, like the, the different offerings that you generously give to people. And I think I paid for, um, it was like, you did something really cool that like it was, it was like low enough cost, but also like enough for me to like really pay attention to what was happening. And, and that, doing that work with you, I was just like, okay, I need, like, I'm really feeling pulled to embrace this more. And it took me just maybe a few weeks to say, I'm going to study it. But once I felt things shifting a little more, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And thankfully the do it yourself was an option. Yeah. So here I am. No. That's so exciting. So yeah, so Lauren is one of those people who really took the intel and kind of, she dove in on her own and was really able to kind of study. And I noticed immediately from the feedback you were giving me and, you know, I noticed immediately that 
you shifted in the way you were running your business and the way you were sort of just, you know, the way you were living. And the reason why it, it hit me watching you is I, I was so similar. I mean, we're different. You're obviously a generator and a projector, but we're both very spiritual and very connected. And I felt the same mm -hmm. thing about human design. It felt a little cold and technical and intellectual, which wasn't really my style. Um, so, but once I started to crack it open into a spiritual experience, then it took on this whole flowering and kind of feminine and intuitive, you know, way of integrating it. So, um, how did it start integrating for you? What was sort of the first thing you started to notice as you dove in a little bit? Well, giving myself permission to wait was really good as I'd been um, like really like in action. Um, like th things that I can't even um, imagine doing because I think I had like, you know, like they say, feel the fear, do it anyway, push through resistance. So I was doing all of this stuff and just, you know, not really like really enjoying it or thinking much of it. And then to just say like, wait, and like, what, what does my inner authority sound like? Like, what does that feel like? And getting out of like my head mm. so much and tuning in was where the integration started to happen. I started to feel uh, like safer within, which was, which is an, an, I think an interesting term for me to use because I wouldn't say so much that I'm someone who feels unsafe very often, but I didn't realize how scattered my energy was. And to just have that permission to go within and wait and to know what I wanted or what I thought I wanted and just to listen and doing it on smaller things first, like what, like, what am I going to eat? Or like how, like what walk do I want to go on? Um, like just little things and, and then experimenting, it really started to work. And when I started to um, look at my clients charts and bring in uh, different things as I'd have, like their guides say, you know, talk to them about this center mm -hmm. or, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. And, and it was something that really resonated with them and helped things line up for them. And, and I did see big shifts happen in my business because I started to really see where I was giving my power away or not being authentic to myself. So I, you know, left that, that way of doing things and focused in more on, uh, where like my own, I, I think of it as like my own light, like where it was like my light guiding me through like, with human design, like through my aura and just following it and things like I felt better immediately. And things started to get so much easier in my business. And it happened pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you went through just, um, you started doing the DIY. I remember within a couple of weeks, you're like, oh my God, my business just completely changed. <laughs> I had, because I had, um, and I think a lot of us, can maybe relate like of course duh like 2020 was like a really out of the box year for all of us I found it especially peculiar for myself because I had invested so much time and money like and then to have like such little return um in my business like that really caught my attention I was like, there's a lot of output and nothing is happening. There has to be some kind of misalignment happening. And with these tweaks, I got my power back and it really like put me in a better attraction mode where like I had my biggest month in sales 
like just from following my strategy and inner authority, like I had the biggest month in sales that I've ever had in my business. And then I was just like, okay, this, this feels good. And I'm going to keep diving in. Yeah, it's really interesting because particularly for people who have been in the coaching industry and who have invested in high-end programs, and, you know, of course I have too, and, you know, I love working with inspirational women and coaching, and, you know, it's a huge part of my life that's brought me where I am today, and yet it's very confusing because there's so much directive, right, and they're so, like, there's so much force to do something in a particular way. And sometimes it worked. Like I remember something like my very first high end program. I remember doing pretty well in my first launch. Um, but eventually I get burned out and bitter, right. As a projector mm -hmm. and not know why, you know, and I think that there's so much information, like we're in information overload because we have access to everything we could possibly want at our fingertips you know so there's a lot of information and when we get our coaching we're guided and even with my master's degree in spiritual psychology was so great but the truth is is that had i known my design it would have like saved me hours of you know therapy because i was processing the whole room with an undefined emotional so it's like a, a way to um, bring forward, you know, a clarification of your uniqueness when whatever tool you're introduced to, right? And so, oh. and, and as a coach, like I noticed that for you now with your clients, now you get to just do that fine tweak and kind of add it in to all of the work that you're doing. And what a huge service to offer to, uh, you know, your clients and to your community. And it's just, it's such a huge service to just get that clarification of our uniqueness. So all the tools sort of make sense, you know? Yes, totally. It, it really is a missing piece. And what is so, what I find just so crazy about this is a good friend of mine had introduced this to me years ago. And I, I guess I just wasn't ready for things to be easy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I, I had to just keep, keep going and doing it the way that like my mind thought it needed to go and I'm like, well, well, all of these people are successful and they're doing it this way and, and I'm doing it in my own way, but not, not entirely. And I remember having so much judgment, like self judgment, because I looked at my chart and I saw how open it was. And I remember thinking that that was like a bad thing. And I don't, I don't even, and I have a client who her chart's open and she was like saying the same thing. And I'm just like, no, 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 it's not true. <laughs> it's so just all these misconceptions and how really diving in and receiving it. Yeah. Same thing happened to me. I found out I was a projector and it took me like two years to be like, I was like, I'm not a projector. I'm a manifester. I manifest up. I'm you know, and I, I literally had to call the hospital, like get my, my birth time. Like it took me a full like year and a half to be like, wait a minute, like that, that can't be right. That can't be right. Until finally, like the same thing happened to me. I just heard something or was like one thing where I was like, you know what? I was at my bitter breaking point and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. And it's really like, I think the first thing people do with human design is they treat it like any other astrology, like, oh, I'm a Capricorn, I'm a Sag, I'm a this, I'm a that. And they kind of have it as like this intellectual sort of, oh, I know I'm this, I'm that, I know I'm this, I'm that. And that was sort of what happened when I introduced it to some people. You know, obviously I need to wait till I was invited, but it took me a while to figure that out. And then people would be like, oh yeah, I'm a manifesting, I'm a this, I'm a that. But when you really like slow it down and be like, okay, I'm going to really give it like an experimental sort of, you know, try, it sort of opens up this like side door 
and like it opens up a whole new sort of dimension, right? Yes, it's because if you try to just well, for me, if I want to just keep it intellectual and I don't apply it, that that only takes you so far. It takes it takes courage. Like, I think you even say that in one of the modules, like it takes courage to wait. Yeah. And that really strengthened me when, when you said that. And as I felt it, I was like, okay, it, it is courageous to follow your strategy, <laughs> to, to listen to, to that inner authority. Like, and then things really start to sync up. Yeah. And so what was the difference for you when you actually went through the DIY and you actually went through the weekly modules and you went through the sort of step-by-step -step program? It was just really like every time I would listen to something about one of the centers and I got, I got to listen to classes that you held with other people where you looked at their charts I would just really take it in and and I would I would do a lot of contemplation and reflection I'm like well how how is this how is this really showing up for me and sometimes the answers would be you know talk to a client about this aspect of their chart or the the having the completely open will center for me was huge as I saw and probably like the the undefined root as well but really the open will like I just saw how much I was doing and how much I was like hustling and on a path that just like wasn't true and I'm like what am I fighting for like this isn't even like mine so I don't even know if I answered your question, but that's what no, came you from. absolutely did. Yeah, you absolutely did. Just the process of going through each one of the centers and really taking the time to mm -hmm. contemplate and go through the deconditioning. I really think there's no other way. I, I think that that was for me too, going through the deconditioning of each center, really taking and contemplating and sort of allowing the intel to sort of seep in. Yeah, it's a game changer. And that undefined emotional yeah. as well, like that, that was huge because I had gone through like, like most, mostly like my twenties, like you're such a drama queen. And, and I would think like, I'm, I'm not like, this is like a really terrible situation. <laughs> like, why aren't other people like understanding this and getting this and just learning how to work with my emotions and also seeing how some other people who maybe they're, maybe they do, they are emotionally defined, but they're not as healthy and the emotional chaos that comes out and just seeing that and then deciding like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get involved. Right. And, you know, and that, and that really, that, that's a huge game changer. For me yeah yeah oh me too yeah huge so why don't you just tell everyone a little bit about your business since you know they know that you know human design and how you're integrating it so um what is it what is exactly your business and how are you integrating human design at this point as we kind of wrap things up here Sure. So my business is Love Renegades and I, I help all my clients tap into their inner love renegade and break free of the illusions of relationship. You know, we're told so often like how we have to be in, in our relationships, how we should be when we're, when we're dating, um, like what it is to be a good partner or, a good friend and my <laughs> biggest thing is I want people to get in touch with who they are form this amazing relationship with yourself like fall fall in love with you connect with the divine be you fully and then 
really set your standard high so that the right people come in for you to co-create and play with. And Love Renegades, it, it's about relationships. It's about your sole purpose. It's, it's about you being true to you and tuning in with that inner knowing. So of course, human design like that, it falls into it so beautifully with the other, the other tools that I use and coaching my clients and guiding them to follow that light and to have ease with it because, and this has been huge for me is I'm not so much focused on healing now. Like I do a lot of spiritual healing and energy healing, but I'm not so much focused on that as I am wholeness and empowerment. And that's just been something big that's come in for me <laughs> lately. It's just, there's nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. Let's, I, I have all of these tools to show you and to guide you in being you. And that is truly my agenda. And as best I can, I don't press my own beliefs on you. In fact, I'm very, I'll say, look, this is like me, but I'm getting permission for you to hear this in whatever way <laughs> supports you. So my client and their journey is what's important to me. Um, it's not the Lauren show. Right. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, and what a gift to also know their uniqueness and their aura type. Absolutely. It, and just guiding them, you know, supporting them and being courageous yeah. to wait because like attracts like. And a lot of the people that hire me, they're usually not very good at waiting. <laughs> yeah. They want to go fast. So it's like, well, let's wait and see what happens. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, it's been a true honor to connect with you today, but a true honor to take this journey with you. And I love watching your expansion and your growth. And you are going to know so much about human design with all of the amazing courses you're doing now with the radical transformations <laughs> and you're in level three. So, I mean, your clients are going to have this huge additional support. And so that's exciting. Your transformation is exciting. And also it's just been so wonderful to connect with you. I've loved every moment of it and I'm excited for what's next. Thank you so much, Raquel. Thank you. Mwah. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. See you in a bit. Bye, everyone.